So today we're going to go through the Pour 15 tank sealer kits. So we do three kits and normally it, it would be your cleaner degreaser, your metal prep which essentially is your primer and then one of three sizes of the tank sealer. So the small size, we say this is for motorcycle tanks, this will do up to about 17 litre tank. This is the small car size tank sealer, this will do up to 34 litre and then anything larger than that we're going on to the bigger tin which will cover about 68 litres. So with the kit you get either the large size, the middle size or the smaller size. You can also buy the cleaner degreaser in 3.78 litre along with the metal prep as well. So step one, if you've got a tank, if it's leaking and we only really recommend resealing the tanks if they're actually leaking, if you've got pinholes, first of all you've got to clean the tank and I can't stress enough you must get it clean. Now the cleaner degreaser is a water-based solution but it's highly concentrated. You can actually dilute this up to 10 parts water to one part cleaner degreaser. I know it says on the tub one to one, that could be your first, if you will, your first cleaning process. So what I normally say to people is depending on the size of the tank, if it's only a smaller tank, put about a quarter of the cleaner degreaser in and put in maybe a couple of litres of hot water to go alongside it. With this size, with the smaller tanks and, and, and also the, the mid-sized tanks as well, you've got plenty of solution to clean that tank. You must get it clean, it's absolutely essential. So two or three times with the cleaner degreaser and what you want, this is clear, what you want is for the cleaner degreaser with the water to come out clear. When you've got the tank clean, then your next step is metal prep. Again, a water-based solution and it's liquid zinc phosphate, it looks like blue water. So pour this into the tank, pour all of it into the tank and literally just leave the tank for 10 minutes, then turn the tank, give it 10 minutes, turn the tank. You want this solution in for 40, 50 minutes and all you're doing, you're imbuing the inside of the tank with zinc phosphate. Essentially that's the primer and also adhesion promoter. When you empty this out, you can actually keep this, you can, you can actually reuse this. So once you've emptied the tank out, you must then flush the tank with lots of warm water. You've got to remove this. Give it a good sloshing out, a good five, 10 minutes sloshing out. Tip that out. Then essential, you must dry the tank. It's gotta be bone dry. Best way to do it normally is with a hair dryer. If you're gonna use a heat gun, be careful because they can create quite a bit of heat. But you must get some hot air in there. Cold air literally just blows moisture around. You must get it dry. And then when you've got the tank nice and dry, with your tank sealer, lid off, don't shake the tin, just take the lid off, give the contents a good stir, and literally just pour it into the tank. Now, it doesn't matter which size you use, pour it in and literally just turn the tank. Just keep turning the tank until you get a nice even coating on the inside of the tank. It's uh, extremely resistant to ethanol. It's been tested above E10, this stuff, so it is extremely durable. You can use this in steel tanks, aluminium tanks. You can also use it in water tanks as well, so it will also stick to brass, but it will not adhere to plastic or GRP fiberglass tanks. Now, a lot of the time, if you've got a pinhole or a couple of pinholes in the tank, you might find sometimes that when you come to empty whatever's left of whatever you put in the tank, you don't want to leave it to settle in the bottom. You need to drain off any excess. And sometimes when you drain off the excess, you can just pull a little bit of air in through those pinholes. And because it's quite a thin product, it can actually leave a pinhole through the sealer. So if you know where the pinholes are before you start, once you've drained off the, the tank of the extra sealer. Just get that tin of sealer and just pour a little bit more back in and leave it sitting over where you know the pinholes are. That will then seal those pinholes. You've no, no air coming back in. And literally then, all you've got to do is leave the tank for four days. It's, a, it's an air dry cure only. And once that's cured and it's dried through, you've got a brand new tank. 